What's up guys? Justin here, back into the game with another short video. Today, I will be showing you my recipe for fried catfish nuggets. Let's dive into it. All right guys, I have my catfish nuggets in the freezer. So while those are defrosting, I'm gonna go ahead and make a dry rub. So before I always put the um, catfish and the egg wash and the breadcrumbs and flour, I always do a dry rub and then put it in the fridge for about 15 minutes before I do that. So I have about a count, I have about a pound of catfish, excuse me, and what I like to put in there is for the dry, the dry rub, I put chili powder, paprika, black pepper, some salt, and some cayenne, yeah, cayenne red pepper. I always put that stuff in there. I put about the same amount of everything in there. So I'm about to put, make it easier on myself and everybody else. I got about a tablespoon. I got one full tablespoon here. I usually put about a half of, uh, probably about to do a half of cayenne pepper. Paprika, I put about a tablespoon in there. This is just about a guesstimate of what I usually do. Take the defrost out of the thing. Chili powder, we do the same thing. Put about a tablespoon in there. Alrighty guys, so for the egg wash, you wanna go ahead and crack your eggs open. Like so, this time, like I said, I have about half a pound right now that I'm making. So I put two eggs in there, put a splash of milk, whisk that together. And then for your flour mixture, I go ahead and use obviously all purpose flour and uh, breadcrumbs. You'll see which ones I got here. I got these, uh, these Italian style breadcrumbs. Went ahead and got them a giant. Go ahead and throw those in there. All right guys, so with your pan, you wanna get a deeper pan. Go ahead and turn it on. Go ahead and turn on your gas or electric or whatever the hell you got. Excuse my French. And uh, I've got light olive oil. You can use peanut oil. You can use anything that's meant for frying. Canola oil I think even works. I usually use peanut oil or olive oil. And uh, you want to submerge the catfish. You want to submerge it. So these are not even a, really an inch thick, but you want to get about an inch thick of olive oil on there so you could submerge them and uh, get that golden crispy brown you're going to look for. Be right back. Let it heat up. All right, guys. So they're looking pretty good. Just note that when they're smaller, they're going to cook faster, obviously. So when you have a bunch of jumbled up sizes, some are going to cook longer than the others. Um, again, this is just my way of doing things. Can you go ahead and get, a, uh, get the thongs out. Go ahead and... Uh, Careful with them, they burn your fingers if you're not careful in taking them out. Obviously. Alright guys, so I'm going to cut it off here. This video was longer than I expected, but there's how to make my way of catfish nuggets. I usually switch it up from now and then when it comes down to dry rubs and spices and stuff. But that's usually the one I go with when it comes down to fish. And I hope everyone is enjoying the content so far. Figured I'd do something a little different. And please like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you next time. Peace out.